Sasha. Really? <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to work and I kept hearing this noise and I thought she was having problems breathing so I turn around and I look and this is what she's doing. <laughs> Back to work I go. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Can't get it to go down. <laughs> oh, that's better. Okay. A good morning, everybody. Oh my gosh, what is it? Wednesday? Yep, so, how's everyone doing today? I'm at work and my hand is killing me today. I have, um, not complete function in this arm, in this hand sometimes because I've done had a couple of injuries to it <clears throat> dislocated shoulder fractured wrist car wreck I've torn tendons damaged tendons and this hand and well my hand has been aching for a few days but now the whole arm is throbbing in pain and aching. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to work and I have to type with this hand. It hurts so bad. I normally take ibuprofen for it and it's not kicking it. So but I'm working through it. So it hurt so bad last night. I was going to go on a three mile walk, but I just, I kept feeling my arm swell up from the pain. And all I wanted to do is take some ibuprofen and try and massage the arm and go to bed. But yeah, so. All right, guys, it's, lunch time so today's lunch I'm eating what's left of the chicken legs that um, I made a few nights ago and um, where's the mojo at? there's mojo so I've got that I've got some white jasmine rice with it and we have the um, leftover no salt canned sweet peas it is um a high a little bit on the high side like over i didn't check the calories before starting the video but i entered i entered them into my fitness pal app I still have quite a few calories left to go though. <laughs> Supposed to be doing the 1750. I just, I'm still not feeling that. Not feeling that. So, <laughs> you know me. We'll see how it goes though. I have not lost any weight since last week. That's okay. That's all right. We'll be okay with that. Like I said before, slow and steady wins the race. You know, and I have other people, you know, people outside of YouTube, you know, people on my Facebook page 
that are asking me how I'm doing it. You know, well, you guys obviously know that I take, I take supplements, you know, I take the True Combo, you know, but it's not all of that, you know, because the True Combo, with the True Combo, you know, and eating right, you can lose weight, you know, um, they say you don't have to exercise, but for like maximum, you know, <laughs> maximum results, you should exercise. But plus exercise is very, very good for the body and good for the muscle and good for the heart, blood flow, circulation. So I have this one friend of mine who lives overseas and, um, he keeps asking me, you know, for charts and stuff like that. And I, you know, I'm not really sure what to tell him because what works for me may not work for him, you know, but I, I want to help him, you know, like I want to help, um, everyone. Like, you know, it's one of the reasons why I make these videos because there's gotta be somebody out there, you know, that's watching these videos that are looking for real people on a weight loss journey that started off like I did at 300 pounds or 400 pounds, like Kathy Curry, you know, Kathy Curry started at over 400 pounds, you know, and look at her now, she is in the 300s, so, you know, she's rocking it, I mean, she's taking, she's doing keto, but she's, you know, and she's having ups and downs, you know, but she's doing it. So, so yeah, so I'm going to go eat my lunch now because I've got like eight minutes left on my lunch break. So, so yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay. So it's after work. I just clocked out few minutes ago and I am annoyed because I don't feel good yeah tummy issues kicking my ass again I feel nauseated so nauseated I didn't even really finish my lunch and I guess that looks like it's too much anyways for me. I don't know. But, um, Lizzie's school called me and, um, the teacher, I don't think she meant to, but she yelled at me because I have not, um, purchased Lizzie's homecoming ticket yet. And Lizzie's been really really psyched about going to it I couldn't afford to buy her a new dress this year so she's wearing the same one that she wore last year but um, at least she gets to go but the tickets like $25 and with me not like working my night job because of the stupid internet issue. It's made things hard, you know? So, um, I'm behind on bills. I, I can't, you know, once my True Vision supplements run out, I don't know if I'm gonna have the money to buy anymore at that time. It all depends on whether or not I'm gonna be able to get back on track by then. You know, and so I've had to extend one of my 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 loans out. I, I can't even make my car payment right now. I can barely pay rent, barely pay electricity, stuff like that. You know, so I just I you know, and it's not that I I, I told Lizzie that you know she was gonna go. I just thought I would be able to purchased a ticket on, you know, 
on Friday. You know, I just, you know, thankfully, because I st extended out a loan, they, um, they put some money into my account. But I was like three payments away from paying that loan off. And now I'm back to starting all over again with it. But uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just tired, you know, and I don't feel good. So, but when Lizzie gets home, I'm going to, um, run to the grocery store really quick and um because they've got gluten-free chicken nuggets at the store at Publix buy one get one free right now um and anytime I see buy one get one free on gluten-free products I want them you know because if it's something, you know, that Lizzie enjoys, I want her to have it. Being on gluten-free foods is not easy. I think that's what I should be doing too, you know. And for the most part, I do eat gluten-free except for my salads because lettuce and tomato and stuff, all that has natural gluten in it from, from what I know, you know, so... But I eat almost pretty much what she eats, you know. I mean, I do eat, um, technically, I eat a lot different, but a lot of the foods in the category is, you know, are gluten-free, the salad dressings, stuff like that. I try to keep it, you know, as gluten-free friendly as possible in this house, you know, so she's not always feeling like she is eating something different from me, you know, so... Yeah. So, I'm going to be going to the store to get some gluten-free chicken nuggets. So, but I'm bummed about not feeling well because I was going to cook the mahi-mahi tonight. And I don't know if I should attempt something like that because of my stomach, so, and I'm, no, I mean, I know what's causing my stomach issues, you know, or part of it is because I have, uh, problems with digestion, um, I have to take, excuse me guys, I have to take Ranodyne, for heartburn and indigestion and it helps break down the acid in my stomach but the strength that I'm on is no longer working like I've been sitting here feeling for days I've been feeling tightness right here that's a bubble and up in here I constantly feel like I need to burp and I can't get it out and I can feel it here you know so and there's like a build up. That's why you keep seeing me swallow. Is because I feel like there's a build up right here of like saliva. That too much. And I know you don't want to hear about that. But this is my vlog. You know, my vlog. So, um. And it's another day of trying to force down water. So, oh my gosh, uh, and then of course when I drink, it's a burp, 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 and there are little burps, little burps, and then you feel it like right here, and it's like, jeez, oh, and there goes my walk, because it's raining out, I have to work at 7 tonight, so... Um, 
And my phone's been blowing up from um, the car loan people. I will call them. I just haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet. So, um, what was I going with? Yeah, it's, it's raining out. So now I need to figure out what kind of exercise I'm going to do around the house. Gotta find a way to get my movements in without hurting my making my arm hurt worse because my arm hurts too. <laughs> Not easy getting old, is it? Sucks. Mm -hmm. And my tooth is starting to bother me more, the one that's broken right here. I have an appointment coming up for it. I need to call the health department and find out when, though. Because I believe they had to reschedule it. So, uh, yeah. I have two appointments coming up. I think it's October. Don't mind me, guys. I'm not thinking. Okay. All right, guys. So, I will check back in with you later oh 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 don't let me forget um i ordered something off of wish.com and i've been waiting weeks for it and it is supposed to deliver by the end of the day and then i got something else to show you guys I like the fact that I'm starting to see major change in my neck. That's one of the things that I have been really, really, really watching with my um, with my weight loss journey is my neck, you know, because I think it's so darn annoying, you know. So this part right here. Remember, used to be used to sag down way more. So, I you know, I do the chin thingies where you go like this, you know, and I hold it. And sometimes I do it like this. But I don't like doing that. So, and then I pretend like I'm blowing on a feather. And you're supposed to like try and hold that for like 15 seconds or something. I never do that, but, but I do it, you know, so little changes that I'm noticing. So mm. I'm still waiting for Lizzie to get home and then we're going to go to a store. Maybe we'll do some vlogging while we're at the store. You never know. When it's Lizzie and I. <sighs> I'm still waiting for Princess to come home. <laughs> I realized that I forgot to take my blood pressure pills and my water pill today. So I just took them. I did take my supplements earlier though. Yep. So, and I took my vitamins. Mm -hmm. I got to get some more probiotics. <laughs> Just means another stop at GNC. Boy, I sure do rack up the points with them, but that's good. You know why? Because I use them. Anyways, I think I'm going to change my shirt. And wait for Lizzie. <laughs> I'm bored. There you go. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. What did you get so far? 
split for Arizona Spaghetti. Here at Publix. At uh, Publix. Buy one, get one free. That's the way to a girl's heart. Or a Lizzie's heart. Oh, we need ketchup. Hold up. You gotta get the gluten free. There you go. I want to show them the Publix brand one because that's the Publix brand tomato ketchup. Yeah, it's fun for telling you we gotta get that one. More expensive. Doesn't that suck? But the Publix brand is $1.59. I know. Well, that is the other one's Publix brand, but it's the gluten free one and more expensive. Okay, what's next? Gotta go find them chicken nuggets. I wanna see what their own ranch dressing looks like on, on the buy one or whatever. Which one? Oh, we got some buy one. Oh, I walked right past it, didn't I? Oh, yes. Yeah. Let me see. Which is buy one, get one free. Wait, not the wishbone. Wishbone's not cheap. Do we have any buy one, get one free? The Ken's dressing. Is buy one get one free over here? Look, Uncle Kenny's buy one get one free. Let's see. Oh, that's food. Thousand Island too. You want to try it? I like the. Well, regular. I don't like those prices. I like the regular one. Just because it's. Let's see. Let's see. Stand up. Nope. Put it down. Because I'm not getting that one. You know why? It's too expensive. That's Red too much money. I'm not spending five dollars. Look, you can get the Publix brand dressing, and it's the same thing. Look, they got ranch in Thousand Island. You already know it's all the same ingredients, so you know it's gluten free. So you can get this one. Yep. Or that one. That one. You're, okay. Showing everyone you're getting ranch. <laughs> okay, what's next? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Yeah. They gotta be the buy one, get one freeze. Oh, look at that. We go for them. Getting, sweetie. Can you get it out? What? Chicken wings are good. What? Those are buffalo wings. Buffalo wings are good. Check that out. Yeah. Well, what do you want? Yes. Those? Okay, you gotta get another bag of them because they're buy one get one free. Are they both gluten free? Does it say gluten free? Let me see. It is. Okay, free. good girl. Here, I was totally missing that big print on there. <laughs> okay, what's next? Um, I don't know. You don't know? She don't know. Oh, I know. I would like. Some yogurt. We need yogurt. Yep, we need yogurt. Let's go pick out some yogurt. So we have a. Okay, guys. So. <laughs> so I just gotta say this, okay? I. It's probably been about two or three months now, something like that. When Amazon had their Amazon Prime Day for Amazon members, well, I broke down and bought a fire stick because I could not beat the deal of $20 and I had an Amazon gift card just sitting there just waiting to be used. So I finally broke down and used it. So. Anyways, so 
weeks go by and I just, I never get around to hooking it up. Well, then I decided to hook it up because the connection or, or something to do with my smart TV was not pulling up my Netflix or my Hulu all the way. So I decided to finally connect it. So I connect it, right? And I've been using the Fire Stick for probably about two weeks or so now. But <laughs> two days ago, the Fire Stick goes missing. Okay, and Lizzie and I have torn the house apart finding it. Okay, we're like, I'm like freaking going insane trying to find it because I was trying to get caught up on all of my Walking Dead videos and we're the, the, the last season of Walking Dead and... I'm like going batshit insane because I, I watch my Netflix while I am taking in steps and folding laundry. So here I am trying to find it and I'm trying and I'm trying and I'm trying and trying and trying and trying and trying. Okay. And I can't find it. Well, tonight I decided... I was going to go on one of my walks, okay? And I have not walked in a few days with my old pair of shoes, okay? I've got a brand new pair of walking shoes that um, I'm slowly breaking in. I broke, uh, I, I did my three-mile walk on them the other night. So my old K-Swiss shoes were sitting in my closet, like way back in the closet. I mean way back okay so for like the past few days I've been trying to find it all right my cats keep looking around like you know something odd's going on and I'm a firm believer in ghosts and I do believe my mom and dad's spirits are always with me okay <laughs> So, I go to put on the new shoes tonight, and my pinky toes are feeling kind of sore in the shoe. So, I said, okay, um, I didn't want to blister up, so I decided to grab the other shoes out. I Luckily, I had decided not to get rid of these yet. So, lo and behold, okay, I grabbed them out of the out of the closet, okay, and I put them up on my bed because, you know, so I can put them on, and I just happen, you know, I always check to make sure there's no stinky socks shoved up in there in my shoes, so I go to look, and lo and behold, check it out. Now you tell me, okay, because that sucker, you see it? There's the, the fire stick in there, okay? That sucker, the last time I saw it was on my computer desk. So you tell me how it went from a computer desk into my tennis shoes. So that was either my mom or dad's or mom and dad's way of saying, don't watch the TV, put the shoes on, and go for a freaking walk, kid. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad, for the inspiration and in keeping me going forward. 